Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can get rid of or avoid some of the error messages that sometimes appear in Excel. So on the left hand side in column B, I have a couple of examples or three examples and then one in column C and then one in column D. Column D is not actually an error message, but I'll show you that in a second. So value does come up quite often in Excel and really what's happening there is you've got a text string in a formula. So this is saying A1 times A2. Now, there's nothing in A2, but there is a word in A1. So that's text, and that's what's coming up there. It's telling you there's text within a formula. Now, that can also sometimes be a blank space. So if I get rid of Steve and do a space, I still get value, even though to look at it, there's nothing there. Now, sometimes that happens when you get data dropped in from a non-Microsoft data source. So just go in there and check that there's nothing there. You can check by double-clicking and you can see there's a space there. If I backspace that off and press Enter, that should sort itself out, and it does. Now, Div0 basically is telling you there is nothing to divide by. So it says there on the formula bar equals A3. There's nothing in A3, but even if there was, if I put a figure in there, still says div zero because it's dividing by A4 and there is nothing in A4. As soon as I put a figure in A4, then it fixes itself. Name will come up usually when you've done a typo or you've spelt a named cell or named range wrong. So for example, if I name this list and then I type list with an S, for example, equals list. It likes that. You can see it's picked that up. But if I put an S on it, it now, it now doesn't see that. So usually when you see a name, people delete it straight away. What you should be looking at is, have you done a typo? And if you have, just get rid of the, um, whatever the typo is and fix it. And then it should be okay. And it just drops that in there. Now, the NA one, it's basically saying it's not applicable. So I've got a VLOOKUP function here, which is looking at this yellow cell in B8. It's looking at the named range, which is A9 to A14, which I've now called list. So I could actually change that to list. I will do. I like names. Tick. Still says NA because there's nothing in there. So if I put the word car in there, it comes back with car, so it's just bringing back whatever's in the first column. There's only one column there, so it's working. So if there's nothing in there, again, it's not a fault. With a VLOOKUP, you might want a blank cell there, uh, sitting there waiting for input. Um, you might not want to see that, though. So what you can do there is just put a, an if statement, maybe, or an if error in front of that. If I just put an if statement, if this equals zero, comma, do this, quote, quote means leave it blank, comma, otherwise do the VLOOKUP. And then if I close that bracket, click the tick, so it just disappears. So there's a, there, is a, there is something there, but it doesn't activate until you type something in there, like so. Gets rid of the error message. Now this thing at the top that hashes, it catches loads of people out, and people have pressed delete again, thinking that there's something wrong, but all that is is... Just widen the column. It's not wide enough to show you the answer. Now with text, that doesn't do that with text. So if I type it a word like Wednesday in there, what happens with text? It automatically looks like it's gone into the second column, column E in this case, but it hasn't. It's just overlapping. It's just um, one of those things. But both cases, you just need to do that. Now. When you see it overlapping like that, you can't click into this cell. That is not where it is. It is not in that cell. It is sitting in this cell. So don't be fooled by that. Just widen the column by double clicking. You can drag. Nothing wrong with dragging, but double clicking does the auto fit for you. Now, if you get many, many cells with hashes, so if I just use this table for a minute and just bring this in a bit, you don't want to be going around a table like this, double clicking hundreds of times just to do the auto fit feature because what you can do is if you click on this little triangle in the corner that's highlighted the whole sheet so that's great if you want to change the font style to 
something else one of these or the size down maybe or up whatever you want everything changes but also if you double click on any of these dividing lines so I'll go on for B it does auto fit for the whole sheet so I'll put that back up so you've got no hashes anywhere so that's quite a useful one to remember for formatting the whole sheet now I'm just going to quickly go through this little spreadsheet just put a custom list in the top there and pull it over for the month and when I do the formula there so I'm just going to double click this because you can double click this if you know it's going to grab the right list and I do know it's going to grab the right list it automatically pulled across I can double click that down now I don't want it to come down here so that is a slight error so I'll undo that undo that again I'll do it the other way I'll come across double click pull it over now I've got a blocker there but there's hashes everywhere look and if I come down double click and then double click again so it'll hit that that's great now I've got all these so this is where this comes back in double click anywhere will fit those now I'm not going to do all the, the max min and average but I will do the percent because that's going to flag up the uh, div zero um, issue again so if I just equals what is 319 divided into the total that's the formula I want tick make it into a percent do the decimal places happy teddy bear when you pull it across you get the div zero popping up now in this case it's not because there's no um, data at all it is because this, the formula is what I call a staggered formula one part of it is in column I in this example and the other part is in column U when you pull this across it goes across to J which is great J11 V11 however it's now dropped into there and it's just basically going across like that as I pull these across so that's gone to that one's gone to V that's gone to W that's gone to X and so on and so on now you don't want to be going through all these typing it manually J11 by U11 K11 by U11 you could do that there's only 12 months it wouldn't take too long but that's not the way to do it what you need to do is lock lock the formula the cell that needs to be locked is the one that you would type out each time in this case U11 you want that to stay there so when I pull this across I don't want that to go across as well so I'm, I'm going to lock that now the technical term is to make it absolute at the moment it's a relative reference but we want to make that absolute but I'm going to say lock it because that makes it more sense to most people and the way you do that is up on the formula bar you click next to the U11 you don't need to be highlighting it just need to be in it and then I'm going to press my F4 function key on the keyboard if you've got a laptop you might need to use the FN key in F4 just check which, which way your laptop function keys are but that's what you need to have you can also just manually type a dollar sign and in actual fact the F4 key is a toggle switch if I press it again it takes one off takes the other one off takes them both off puts them both on for this example we only actually need to lock column U so we just need a dollar sign in front of the U but if in doubt put them both on it doesn't make any difference in this type of example I'm doing now but if you were typing it you would just need to type a dollar sign in front of column U because that's the column we want to stay fixed when you tick that now and then pull that across that'll work so to do that again all together this time without a stop you just go equals what is that of divided of that whoops that I'm going to do the F4 thing now locking it because I'm going to pull this down click the tick make it into a percent do the decimal places and pull it down and it will work so div zero is a good little feature sometimes it comes up and tells you something, something slightly wrong the form itself was correct but once you started trying to pull it across it obviously went a bit pear-shaped um, and you don't want to be going manually through it as I've already said because that is just taking lots of additional time that you don't really need to be doing so that's just a couple of error messages that pop up in Excel not all of them but the main ones that I experience when I'm doing basic intermediate Excel um, and that's how you can fix them and how you can tidy them up if it's this sort of case where you just have an, an NA popping up because there's no data there that's uh, usually a typo like I said and this one NA which is what I've just done there when there's no information for it to divide by so if I delete that for for example 
we'll get div 0, not na div 0. na is this one. If I get rid of this if statement, it'll come up with, with na, that one. Nothing for it to do, nothing for it to look at. And this one was the value option, so when you've got text in a formula, it comes up with value. So they're all pretty common in Excel and pretty easy to fix once you've had a look at what they are and what the issue is. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.